Hello everyone and welcome back to Civilization 6. We're in the last episode. We took China's capital city. Now, we could press on and claim these two uh, neighboring cities as well and thereby wipe them out. And to be fair, they have been a bit of a thorn in my side. It does depend a little bit. If they sue for peace immediately, they cease aggressions and don't do anything super cheeky like kill someone and then ask for peace. I will strongly consider the option. However, if they don't simply uh, give in, if they don't surrender and, and surrender in spirit, not just in words, then we're going to crush them. And to that end, can I get another catapult? Yes, I can. Very, very tempting, I must confess. Very, very, very tempting. Um, I could get a knight. Oh, a knight would be nice. Super expensive, but super nice. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get a knight. Now that might put the uh, put a bit of fear into them, I suppose. Right, on that point, let's uh, end this turn. Now. You just got a level up, it seems. Oh, really? You scallywag, why are you picking on just one of them? Thank goodness for that metal helmet of yours. Typically, right, we've got cities that are starving. That is really not good. Uh, let's actually have a look at you. How are you going? Uh, well, you're not really starving, are you? You're, you're, you're neutral. But I'll I'll focus the uh, effort today on getting a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Do I really want to be there? A little bit more food, I was going to say. I'm a little worried that you're going to be able to attack me from there. However, I should be able to do a wallop of damage to them. Now, as long as I can follow that up with someone else doing the same, can I? You know what? I'm a little bit concerned that I won't be able to. Can you move down? I'm going to try and draw their attention here. All right, knight. The knight can get all... Wow, the knight can get all the way in and attack that. That is definitely an option. Can I use this road? No, I can't seem to make the good use of the roads here. That is a little bit of a pain. By a little bit, I mean it's quite a lot of a pain, actually. Um, I could go and take their builders. Uh, how much health have you got? You've got a health 100. You've got... Yeah, everyone's got 100. But these things, they do a lot of diff like danger. They, they're super, super bad. I'm not worried that you're in danger there. The knight is not going to march out just yet. I'm going to move forward, but I'm not going to march out. Not yet. I want to see how that develops first. And that might be a, a bad idea. We'll have to see. Uh, I wouldn't mind moving up there. I need to take out that barbarian camp too. Let's have a quick recap. We're building uh, a workshop over there. We're building a university there. That's good. Shipyard... We're currently just producing um, an industrial zone. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. We're producing a trade unit. We're producing a monument, a, na a Royal Navy dockyard. Okay, we really need to get back into the naval game. I mean, that's one of the biggest strengths of Britain, and we're not playing to it right now. That is that is a bad thing. Okay, what are you doing? That hurt. Okay, is this gonna kill anyone? Please no. Oh. <laughs> We got out of that by the skin of our teeth. My lord. And that, I strongly suspect that is all because we attacked you first. Can I hit them? No. Can I hit them? Yes. Please kill them. Wow, that was close. That was so close. Okay. Two things. Um, you're going to bail out, first and foremost. Pull back. You're going to move up. Will you be able to bombard from there? I don't think you can. I don't think you can bombard from there. However, I super duper want this move over. Because that should mean that I'm going to be able to just wipe out their defenses straight away. 
Because the battering ram is right next to it, it allows my melee units to apply their full damage to the defenses of the city. And my knights are rather, rather good at, at, at applying damage, so they can no longer bombard, which is a massive gain for us. So let's move the rest of our units in as we can. We're up to 127. I need a fair bit more. Ooh, where are you trading? We really want you to be able to trade, frankly. We'll have to look into that. Unit needs orders, though. Uh, the battering ram, you can just go back to sleep. Uh, are there any barbarian camps nearby? Any barbarian camps? Probably not. Sparta's probably dealing with them fairly handily. Oh, actually, that being said, there's a barbarian camp over there. Uh, alright. I'm going to move down a wee bit. Go ahead and fortify for now. And we'll end the turn there. That did not go too badly. You want peace? Um... Hmm. I did say I would, I would strongly consider it. I, I did say I would strongly consider it. And you will cede one of the cities. Uh, no. As much as I think it would probably be tactically sound for us to crush them utterly. I'm going to be true to my word. I said I'd consider it. And I will. There we are. If you remain polite and cordial in the future, if you then the perhaps I won't utterly crush you. That's your problem. If you owe the bank $100 million, that's the bank's problem. <laughs> I approve. I approve most heartily of this one. <laughs> that is glorious. Truly, truly glorious. All right. Okay. Uh, select trade uh, destination for production. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. Have I got anything that even remotely comes close to that? I mean, that would give me extra science as well, but no, I, I, I really like that for production, sure. Begin the trade route up to London, please. And we'll get some new research. Now, gunpowder? That would be nice. Yeah, okay. We'll go for gunpowder. And from London to... Anywhere that's going to give me a massive amount of trade? No, not really. I could perhaps get down to Manchester and maybe then trade from there to... Other locations such as Buenos Aires, and there's definitely part of that that I wouldn't mind doing. Sure, okay, we'll we'll go down there. We'll try and set up a trade route so that I can trade even further afield in the future. Right. As for you, I want my crossbowmen to take up permanent positions in these locations. Um, sure, my seven strength there is a pretty nice one. Now then, you've just built a trade unit. Build a Royal Navy Dockyard, but I'm not crazy about that one. Mostly because I would have to... Oh, well, actually, there would be space for me to get something else, like a, a lighthouse or something there. Hmm. That is actually a little bit tempting. Uh, Potala, a Potala Palace? One diploma, uh, diplomacy policy slot must be built on a hill adjacent to a mountain. Sure, actually, I'm okay with that. Yes, what is that there? It's going to take a lot of time, though. Let's get some builders out there helping. We've got a little bit that we can chop down. These trees as well. Can I afford to purchase a builder? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Let's get you out there. Uh, we've uh, our um, city-states, our allied city-states have negotiated peace, which is fair enough. I would like you to go ahead and heal. And you can start moving down. Should have taken you out while I had the chance, actually. Actually, come to think of it, we're going to need to get up there and wipe out whatever it is. They have just at that barbarian camp. Maybe move up, maybe claim this area, or move on and claim these areas. I think I would really like to secure that little island, honestly. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be focusing on here. Now that we've got peace, um, 
Everyone's getting a little bit of health. Fantastic. Alright, we need to start chopping down trees. So let's get out there. Uh, you can go ahead and just fortify there. More or less, definitely, I would say. I'm actually going to have the, the these crosswomen just sit by here, I think. That being said, maybe it would be best for me to get them down into the city itself. Uh, but that little that little uh, area of land there, that seems like a good place to have crosswomen. It'll extend the area where I could attack incoming naval vessels. Alright, knights, let's get you up there, thank you. You can continue on. Catapult. Ah. Uh, I guess the catapult can come with. I suppose there's no particular reason not to. Uh, we'll have you to take that position there. Now, my settler, I would say it's time for you to start moving out there as well. You're not going to have access to fresh water, though, which is a little bit of a worry. It means you're going to grow slowly, but if I plan it right, I can put you in a position where it'll be particularly useful. And we'll be able to access a fair number of other resources. Uh, there. Yes, yeah, so let's continue on. Pikemen can move up. And we can as well. Catapult, though. Honestly, the cat. Oh, sorry. I suppose I shouldn't have done that. Uh, the catapult can just. I, I guess you can just fortify wherever you are, really. We're only seven turns away from getting a. Uh, encampment, which is going to allow us to, to build units a lot faster. Gunpowder is not that far away either, which is fantastic. Right, London has finished. I'm actually not at all sure what London has finished, but oh, it'll be the um, market area. So we could build a market. Would not mind that at all. Or we could go for the Colossus or the Great Lighthouse. Um, an extra trade route. That would be nice, but we're not even using all of the traders that we've got currently. So actually, yeah, we're going to build some more traders first. We won't, we won't worry about building things that give us more traders until we need more traders. And honestly, I mean, the Great Lighthouse might not be a bad one to go for, but... You know, we're starting to move out over some rough terrain at this point. But we should easily be able to wipe that out. I would like you to fortify, and you can fortify down here. There we go. And then. There we go, and we can start marching up. Ah, uh, they're going to be super easy to kill. Fair enough. I'll move the rest up in that direction. Uh, the battering ram. Honestly, do we really need to take my pipe man up there? I very much doubt it. In fact, let's keep the battering ram back here. It's a bit of silly to send her up. I don't need to send siege weapons up that way. I will, however, start sending my settlers out there now. Uh, in fact, actually, let's get the uh, pipe man over there. Now, we can build a water mill. Um, we got anything that would benefit from the bananas specifically? I don't think so. And what do you need? You need amenities. So we could build an entertainment complex here to help with that. And there's definitely a reasonable um, need for that. That being said, build another knight. That would be glorious for future wars. But no, I think we're going to go for an entertainment complex. And we'll build it right about there. And that's this turn gone. We've got a Apostles moving in, towers all over the place. What are you up to? Mine, no doubt. Really? How dare you! There we go. Now then, a lettuce. Now I could increase the. I could put down a lumber mill. I'm not even sure that you can reach that far. No. Well, actually, yeah, you could. Uh, hmm. That might be worth doing. 99 production removes words from the plot. How much does this require? Mm, it would only... It would, 
It would do okay, but how much is this city actually producing? It's producing 14 per turn. Uh, yeah, I think I will go for that. In the long run, I think it will be useful to have at least one of them. The other one, though, we won't. Could I? Well, I'm not sure if there would be any point in going out there. I'm fairly certain you'd die. So let's not do that, shall we? Uh, you can move along. There we go. Alright, okay, so. Definitely going for some extra production. So let's go to London. There we go. Now we've just built walls. Let's uh, repair our granary. And start fortifying there. Just for the time being. And which city is this in? Ah, fantastic. Leo's got a trade post. Excellent. Well, Taoism is spreading fairly aggressively down here. Bit of a pain. Alright, we've got that. So let's move up. We'll wipe out that forest and we'll get something new in there. Um, we can actually now reach all the way down. So anywhere that is offering us something better? Not really. Okay, we're going to go for the extra science and um, production. Let's go ahead. There we go. And we're at our maximum trade route now. We could look at the Colossus at this point. That being said, we can now also build things like temples, which are quite cool. We can get relic slots there. But the market will bring us a good load of extra coin. And it's only going to take five turns to do, so I think that's probably a reasonable investment there. Uh, you can... We'll take you back to one of our other cities. I think it's ultimately better to have an inner city than not. There we go. My knights can be on the move as well. There we are. Now there is one city over there we're going to need to go and take out. I'm thinking if we set up around here that would be good because we'll have access to the cattle and the sheep straight away. And we still will um, control this area. Though if we started there... There's a lot of desert around there. I'm not sure. Maybe even here would be better. Yeah, quite possibly. The amount of fish we'd have access to if we set up over there, though. Wow. There's a lot of options. Certainly a lot of options for us. Go over there. And you can set up in here. As for you... Well, I, I guess you can head over to Rio. Still more Taoism. That may become a problem later. Right, you can go ahead and just remove this forest. There we go, we're down to 54 turns instead. That's significantly better. There we go. Uh, you can fortify. Now, we have just built a university, which is fantastic. What is this city like? How are we doing on amenities? Uh, only four of four. We're producing way more food than we need, so that isn't something that we need to worry about. Housing ten of ten. Mm. That is not great. Uh, but an entertainment complex is definitely something that we're going to want. In the fairly near future, I would say. So, let's go ahead and settle that right around there, I would say. Pop that down. We have now completed the granary, which is great. We could go for a medieval wall. How's this city doing? In terms of food, we're okay. Amenities, uh, housing, uh, we're not amazing with either of those. Uh, we could repair the commercial hub. However, for the amount of resources invested, I'd prefer to go for a monument. What the dickens did we just do? What? Is this some sort of abstract art monument? I can't say I approve, really. There we are. Okay, what just happened there? Someone just built the Terracotta Army. 
Okay. The I've real use of gunpowder is to make all men tall. Uh, you must not lose that. faith in humanity. Humanity is like an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. I like that. That is actually really quite nice. Now, we're producing great general points, but we're out of war, so I would say I would prefer to get great engineer points instead. You could also go for great scientist points too. Uh, defensive buildings, unit maintenance reduced by one, productivity towards medieval renaissance, industrial, era heavy and light cavalry. Um, there we go. Let's get an increase in amenities. That would be particularly nice. Particularly nice right now. Let's go ahead and accept that. We may find that some places no longer need amenities. We definitely need to get gar units garrisoned in pretty much every place now. Right, as for technology, what are we going to go for next then? Metal casting, it's already boosted. The bombard, well, would be quite nice, honestly. Or we could go for renaissance walls, rise the strength of your outer defenses to the highest possible level. That would be also very, very nice. Own two bombards. Well, I guess we're going to go for that one then. There we go. And as for the Civic, let's actually have a look. Exploration is on the, on the menu at the moment. Currently, we're using Monarchy, and we're probably not going to change from that, I'll be honest with you. So what else have we got? Uh, resident Embassies and grants the ability to construct a spy. The first four Cassus Belly may now be used to justify wars. These castes barely are Holy War, War of Liberation, War of Reconquest, and Protectorate War. That does seem reasonable. Um, I'd actually like to get for exploration for the plus one freedom pastures, though. So we'll go for that. Now then, let us move up here. Shall we find where... Ooh, Niter. Okay, yeah, we absolutely need to get up here now. It's like a lot of place. Oh, I'm not so sure. I want uh, China to have access to that. Ooh, there's some lighter down there, too. <laughs> many, many good places. Yes, let's get down there and set that up, shall we? We'll move our knights up. Let's get rid of all of these. There we go. And next turn. Trading post created, fantastic. Now let's see how this works. Oh, have you got your own knights? No, no, actually, yes. They are reasonably powerful. Horsemen, but not, not knights, but uh, still definitely reasonably powerful. Right then, let's have a quick look. We can go over to London, and I think that is generally the best idea because London is bringing in so much um, productivity. Now, if we head up there, we will almost wipe them out. We will wipe out the crosswoman, so... Hmm. Let's do that. I'm a little bit concerned about their attack here. Your knowledge of military science has advanced considerably. Oh, fantastic. Your valiant knight has vanquished his foe. Let us learn from this vic victory and become students of military affairs. I'm very concerned now. Uh, down here we have now got uh, a encampment. Now that effectively is like a, a second city. It's got its own defenses, so on and so forth. I think it can even shoot. Ever. What I would really like is may not be built in an encampment district that already has a stable. So we have to choose between one or the other. Melee units and range units or cavalry units. I think I prefer the barracks, honestly. So let's get that on the go. And now... We've just built a dockyard down there. We could build the Colossus, and it would take 66 turns. It's a long time. 
but I wouldn't mind it, strictly speaking. Um, the lighthouse will just give us more uh, the, uh, the light, but actually I'm going to go for a monument because I would like to start crewing culture there. Uh, Manchester. I think I would seriously prefer get another builder. It's going to take you a while to get, but let's go ahead and do that. I could have just upgraded the health on my on my knight, frankly, and I probably should have. If we lose the knight, then that that's a reason for it. It's because I didn't think to use the uh, the promotion the way I should have. Your reputation is forever tarnished. Right. Okay. I was giving you, giving you a chance. You have wasted that chance. You will now. Uh, the success of your commercial districts has spurred the growth of trade guilds. Your progress towards guilds has advanced considerably. I like it. Fantastic. But you have just literally thrown away the one chance you had to keep your cities. Because I am now going to wipe them out. That is annoying though, because I'm gonna have to recall my units. I didn't want to have to do that. <sighs> what was me? Uh, a scout. I could just go and wipe you out. Frankly, I don't need to though, so I'm gonna get this first. Defending versus range attacks. Uh, combat strength versus fortified defender. Now that is actually pretty good. That's really good. Um. Hmm. Reactive armor, plus 7 combat strength when defending against heavy cavalry. Uh, plus 7 combat strength against other heavy cavalry. No, we'll go with charge. There we go. Loads of health there. And let's have a gander then. We could go with the temple. Don't really think that's... I mean, I could. But... The real thing for me here is I either want the Great Lighthouse or the Colossus. Now, the thing is, either of these is going to wipe out a lot of food for me. But I've got a reasonable amount more than I need. Venetian Arsenal. Uh, receive a second naval unit each time you train a naval unit. Must be built on a coast tile that is adjacent to an industrial zone district. Wow! Yeah, I think we know what we're building there. Go ahead and get that. Um, that being said, I just bought a tile asset. 140 gold for that one. Perhaps I should have done that. Yeah, that was a bit silly. Though. Can we can we move that one to? Uh, can I cancel that one? Ah, oh, poop. If I build a shipyard instead, there we go. Now I should be able to build it. There we are. No? No, I've, I've already decided where that is. <laughs> Damn it! I should have built it there, and then I could have had, like, the Colossus there, because that, like, the opening into this area is just gorgeous. But oh well. I really should have thought that through, because I didn't need to put that there. I wonder if there's anything I can do to change that. No, there is nothing I can do. That, that was such a silly, silly thing to have done. Drat Dam and Blast. I would have liked to have had a, Col a Colossus there because I need it to be next to Dockyard, whereas this just needed to be next to that. Oh well, it is done now. I mean, how are things going on over there? They've already got gunpowder units. That's a little bit of a concern. But we too will soon have gunpowder units, which is going to be grand. Let's move up and bombard. There we go. Do a fair old chunk of damage there. Then you can move in and finish them off. There we go. Glorious. Settlers can continue moving up. Now I could set them up here, but I really don't think that's a wise idea. It's either there or there would be the best ones for me. I think here might actually be one of the better ones. But I think it's at that point that we're going to wrap up this episode. We are going to need to deal with China because they are being naughty, frankly. So let's get these units back down here ready for the inevitable war that's coming our way. 
And we'll also get some more uh, crosswomen down there as well. Possibly have one of these cities start working on some more military units in the coming turns. But that is it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We'll be joining me for the next. Remember to like if you liked, and sub if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.